Let R be the region in the first quadrant bounded by the graph of y equals 2 root x, the horizontal line y equals 6, and the y-axis as shown in the figure above. Write, but do not evaluate, an integral expression that gives the volume of the solid generated when R is rotated about the horizontal line y equals 7. Well, let's first create a picture of what is going on here. The horizontal line y equals 7 is approximately right here. Now because we are rotating R about this horizontal line, and there's space between the line, the axis of rotation, and R, that means that we're going to have washers. So let's create a flipped image of R on the other side of Y equals 7, like right here. We can create our larger radius. Our larger circle is going to go from R to R. That will look like this. And our smaller radius will go inside of this empty region right here. So, here is our larger radius. Let's actually go this way because this is what we have defined. And our smaller radius is right here. So, that means that big R, my larger radius, goes from 7 down to 2 root x. Well, the distance from 7 to 2 root x is my larger function, 7, minus my smaller function, which is 2 root x. Furthermore, little r is equal to the distance from 7 down to 6. So little r is 7 minus 6 which is also equal to 1. And so, we can now create the integral that defines the volume of this solid. And we can do so by taking the integral from x equals 0, and they even gave us the point over here. This is x equals 9, as they gave us. So this is the integral from 0 to 9 of our larger circle, which is pi r, which is 7 minus 2 root x squared, minus the smaller circle, which is pi times 1 squared dx. And of course, we can pull out the pi. So this is pi times the integral from 0 to 9 of 7 minus 2 root x squared minus 1 squared dx. And this right here is the answer. It is pi times the integral from 0 to 9 of big R, which is 7 minus 2 root x, it's this line right here, squared minus little r, which is 7 minus 6, which is 1 squared dx. In the figure above, r is the shaded region in the first quadrant bounded by the graphs of 4 times a natural log of 3 minus x, the horizontal line y equals 6, and the vertical line x equals 2. Find the volume of the solid generated when R is revolved about the horizontal line Y equals 8. Well, the horizontal line Y equals 8, let's put that somewhere over here. We'll make this right here Y equals 8. Well, because there's space between our axis of revolution and the actual region itself, that means that we're going to have washer method. And so, we can implant a flipped version of the space above the graph of y equals 8. And so we can create our larger circle. Our larger circle extends from r down to r right here. And the smaller circle extends from the base of r down to the base of r 
right here. Now, our larger radius is 8 minus this function right here, which is 4 times the natural log of 3 minus x. So let's start writing out all of our information. Our big R is equal to 8 minus 4 natural log of x minus 3, or 3 minus x. And little r is equal to 8 minus 6 which is 2. Now, we know that the formula for a washer is pi times the integral from 0 to 2, so this is from 0 to 2, of our larger radius, big R, which is 8 minus 4, times the natural log of 3 minus x squared minus little r squared dx. And so this is our formula right here. We can solve this using either a graphing calculator or Wolfram Alpha. And the volume is 168.18. So using washer method, we had to create our larger circle, our smaller circle, and the volume is the integral of pi r squared minus pi little r squared. We pulled out the pi and we have big R squared minus little r squared, which is 168. Point one eight.